Hi, everybody. Welcome back. David Robertson from the Financial Center. Once again, to just share some thoughts with you. Here we are in the middle of January. You probably already received my annual letter, which is uh, gives a little in-depth thought to ooh, some of the things that have happened the last three years and what may be happening here this year. And if you haven't received it or had a chance, please click on the link below to, to read that again. So where are we here today? Well, um, today, after three years of, of really great years, we had a down year, negative 20%. Well, but if you take the last three years since COVID, January 1st of 2020 to January 1st of 2022, that time frame was plus 20, despite the fact of being down 20. I said to all of you last year about this time that it wouldn't surprise me to see after three great years of having a 10 to 15% pullback because of the inflation, which we knew was going to happen. Well, we didn't get that 10 to 15. We got 20. Things went back up, okay, and went down. 27, then went back up, and we finished with our, our 20. Still, again, after a three-year period, not a bad time frame for those three years. Well, where are we here today? <clears throat> well, due to the Fed's relentless uh, battle with inflation and their hawkish tone, we see markets that uh, react to every little data point of data that, that comes across. We've seen markets go up a thousand points one day and 800 points the, the, the next. And I expect this kind of turbulence to continue because uh, as we speak, Invest or inflation has been coming down. Bond yields have been coming down, which is a good thing. But yet the recession cries are going up. Well, remember what we've talked about with recessions. You don't know if you're in one, you've just won through one, or you're headed into one until after it's over. And markets tend to react ahead of the bottom of inflation or a recession. Um, so what do we do? We just be patient. Folks, um, here we are today. Um, since the outcome of, of what's going to happen is, quite frankly, unknowable, we don't know which way things are going to go in the short run. But I do believe that I know where things are going to go in the long run. And since all of us are long-term goal goal oriented investors we're just going to wait and see um, because since this is unknowable we don't make investment policy changes or decisions based on on things that are unknowable okay um, that is not a rational thing to do but you know, all the time, our managers have and will continue to make little uh, tactical changes to take advantage of dislocations in the market as they have been doing. So what do we do? We just be patient. Uh, I like the things that we own. We own some of America's greatest companies. And the reason we do that is because the U.S. stock market has and will continue to be the greatest wealth engine ever created. And it has absolutely nothing to do with timing the market, but it has everything to do with time in the market. Folks, if you want to pay, if you want to drive yourself crazy, look at things daily. If you want to put a smile on your face, look at things instead of by days, by decades, and I think you'll feel better. Hey, if you, if you need any money this, uh, this year or coming up soon, give us a call. Um, let, let's talk about that. Or if you just need to talk, give Tim or myself a call. Um, we're here and always will be. Check us out on our website. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye now.